Hey guys, it's Nicolas Tijanomar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on AR Foundation. I show you on the previous video how to actually implement eye tracking and I also show you how to use body tracking in other videos that I posted before. In this video, we're going to be continuing the body tracking example that I did where we place cubes in our body, but I only, I only did half of my body when we did that. In this video, we're gonna be finishing up the neck and also doing the head. And then on the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use our hands to do body tracking. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilma again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be walking you through the skeleton that I have so far. And also I wanna show you the demo that I posted in Twitter couple of minutes ago showing the the skeleton head also the neck and how the rotation of my head actually resembles the rotation of the skeleton so in the previous video I show you that we did half of the skeleton so let me just show you the demo here and I only had half of it I think it was up to here and then in this video I added a couple of parts on the neck and also the head I need to still make some changes to the head because it is really small, but this was the first try and I'm really happy with the results. So I'm just gonna play the video so that you can watch the results. You can see how the rotation is affecting the head and also the skeleton. It's not very, you know, it's not precise. This is one of the first versions that ARKit releases with body tracking. And there's still a lot of more a lot more work to be done to make sure that this works, but um, I'm pretty happy with the results and and how things are working. You can see that everything it's it's getting, you know, it's getting rotated. I'm lifting my my legs, also my head. So I want to show you the comparison of the skeleton. So I have three right now. One, it's the one that we did on the previous video, which is the what I call the kind of like the bottom skeleton bottom part. Let me go ahead and disable lighting so you can see better. So this was the first, you know, attempt just to make, just to show you how the feet and also the ankles, the, and then the skeleton actually looks like. And then for this video, what I did is I added another skeleton, which also has the neck and the head. So let me go ahead and show you that one. It's going to put in side to side. So you can see this is the first version. The, the skeleton that I just added has a couple of more pieces on the, on the neck. And I, I also want to move the head up because if you notice, if we go back into the video, you're gonna notice that the hey, head is. Right again and welcome back. I know that video. Let me go. This is the one, and you can see that the I could probably move the head and also make it a little bigger, because it's there's some spacing in here, and to be honest, I don't know why the neck is not showing correctly because there should be right here. It might be because the sweater that I am wearing, or it might be just this piece is just not position correctly, but this is going to be just all experimentation. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then I'm also going to leave it right about there. And you can see how, you know, how I organize it. I have this Pine 7, which is what the other one had as the last piece. And if we go back into that, you can see I have a Spine 2, a Spine 3, 4, 5, and then the last piece is going to be 7 and then of course the, the cube. On this one, what I did is I added the neck, one, two, three, and four, and also the head, which is what you're seeing right now. I'm going to be adding the arms and and also my hands on the on the next video. So I'm gonna be dividing this into part one, is the the video that I did previously, and then this is part two, which includes the head and the neck. And then I think with the next video we can wrap it up, and then we'll do something more, you know, something cooler where we're using a real 3D model. So now that I have this skeleton, let me just go ahead and, and change the and apply the overrides. Make sure that I make my changes. So this is going to be a great reference for you to use if you need to implement this yourself on your own game. And I start with cubes and then, you know, once you're ready, you understand it, you can use it for more complex shapes. And then the other thing that I also have here, if you go into the robot, this is going to be the robot that Unity provided under examples. I just basically copy it. And this is the one that I've been using as a reference for a lot of the things that I'm doing with the cubes. And, and this one, of course, looks a lot cooler because this is a real 3D model where I'm just using, you know, low poly, uh, not even low poly, I'm using cubes to, to make sure that 
I understand the, the structure of the skeleton. So if you notice, if I go into here, into the Vibe Robo Ace skeleton, we go into root and we keep going down, you're gonna notice that the structure is gonna be exactly the same structure that I have on my own skeleton. And the reason for that is because I use this as a reference. So you can see that I have neck and then I don't have the right shoulder or the left shoulder, which is what I'm gonna be doing in for the next video, like I mentioned. So for now we're going up to here and then that's basically all I have as far as far as you know the models that I have and reference that I have. So if you are curious about how this works, make sure that you download these from my GitHub page. And let me just give you that right now so that you know where that is. So if you go to github.com and then Dilmer V, and then you go into my, you can go into the main page of my GitHub page. And then the Unity AR Foundation Essential is gonna be the one that has most of the votes. So you can download these and then look at all the examples that I have, including the, the latest video that I did on, on body tracking, which is gonna be the, you know, which is gonna be one of these ones. And in fact, it's probably, let me just show you which one, which is gonna be this one that I did in body tracking with offset. This one I use the rubble and I'm basically offsetting the rubble from my body. And also on this one includes the eye tracking example that I, that I show you on the previous video. So now that I have this going and I have two skeletons, so what's next? How do you set it up? And, and, and what I did is I, I already had a session, uh, a scene already created for this. And for most of the videos and, and everything that I show you so far, the, this is a pretty much the basic setup. You have the AR session, AR session origin, which you're very familiar with. And of course, because I'm using body tracking, I have the AR human body manager associated. And then I have the basically the human body pose 3D check on both of these options. If Let me go ahead and make it bigger so you can read the, the whole setting. So one of them is gonna be for the body pose 3D estimation enable, and that's so that we can start tracking and getting that information from ARKit. And then also if we needed to do, well, I'm making sure that we get the right scaling, I have this one also check. And then the other thing that I also have here is I have a human body tracker. This is the one that I that I implemented and also has an offset. I show you that on the, on the video that I did on body tracking with an offset. So make sure that you look at that video, which will let you know how this works. And then the other thing that I have, if we go into the the actual, let me just make sure, oh, it's actually this one. If you look at the skeleton prefab that I have here, this is the one that if I didn't wanna do the head, I can just basically drag and drop this one, which doesn't include the head, but no, for this video, I added the neck and the head, so I basically just changed the skeleton prefab. So as we're building more examples, I'm gonna be you know, having different skeletons in here that you can play with. And I also, if you want to use the robot, all you need, really need to do is you can go into the robot prefab, the uh, robot folder, and then associate the controller robot with the skeleton prefab. And that's going to basically show you that robot map to your body. So let me go ahead and change this back to what I had, because I'm going to be checking this scene. So this is going to be the latest scene. It's called human body tracking, body and head. And I'm going to be basically checking this code into GitHub so you can download it as well. So. That's basically everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions about the skeleton, just make sure that you look at the structure, make sure you download and look at the scene because it's gonna tell you basically how everything is set up. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for young developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access to GitHub source code and also everything that I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much guys.